Hey guys, I want to tell you a story about the right to repair that is just completely infuriating. This is James's phone. I don't think I've seen a better example about why we need actual force legislation to prevent the kind of BS that's going on with this phone. So let me tell you about his phone. This phone is here because James would like me to replace the rear camera. And I did replace the rear camera. And now Face ID isn't working. So let's talk about this problem. Here it is, Face ID is not working. If I try to reset or set up an alternate appearance and say, let's get started, it says Face ID is not available. If I check to see if it recognizes my face, no, it used to, but not anymore. It does not unlock. Face ID is not working after I replace the rear camera. The rear camera is the one back here the one that doesn't have anything to do with face ID and detecting my face. But let's check about that rear camera. The rear camera that I have replaced is working. In fact, let's take a picture of these tweezers just so that we can see that. See, there we go, let's put them over there. Let's take a nice picture. There we go, it works just like you'd expect an iPhone 10. Rear camera is working. So maybe I damaged something when I replaced the rear camera. I don't know, where did I get this rear camera? Well, the rear camera that I put in there, I got from another working OEM original iPhone 10. So it is an original Apple, it's not an aftermarket part. It is an original iPhone 10 rear camera. So maybe when I installed it, something went wrong. So let's just walk backwards and take it back out. So I'm gonna disconnect the battery. I'm gonna disconnect the uh, top of the screen here and I can pretty easily take the good working OEM original iPhone 10. Now remember, I am Apple certified because I passed a dumb test, but I'm not Apple authorized. So I don't have the ability to tell the device, hey, I'm giving you a new rear camera with a serial number that's different from the one you had. So this whole business of right to repair is all about, can we get manufacturers to stop tying parts to serial numbers? When I plug in a camera, the device shouldn't just boot it out because it doesn't have the serial number. That's a complete overreach of, of you know, authority and a complete monopoly on repair. So what I've done now, right here in front of you guys live, is I'm booting this phone up with a, a ri his original camera in it. So this is the broken rear camera. Now, how did it get to be this way? I've talked to James and I know exactly what happened here. James told me how he got into this mess to begin with and exactly what his story is. And here is his phone with his original rear camera in it. And you can see if we open up notes that we have a little bit of a blemish here on the LCD. This is from heat. We also have a little bit of melty plastic here, also from heat and his rear camera. We can see that, you know, this eye is fine. That eye is really cloudy. looks like cataracts. That is also from heat. This phone was subject to extreme heat right in this corner that melted the case onto it. James never opened this phone. The melted case was still on it when he first tried to get this fixed by mailing it to Apple. That didn't work out. So let's look at this phone right now. I have put back in the original broken camera and let's just check to see does face ID work. So I'm not getting any of those notifications now and when I open up face ID in settings, where is it face ID and we try to set up an alternate uh, appearance, get started, yeah, it works all of a sudden. It's working magically. And if I tell it to look at, to recognize my face, I can you know, roll my head around. Face ID is working. And in fact, I've already set it up to recognize my face earlier. So if I just look at face ID, oh, it's gonna want the passcode from my battery disconnect, but it's gonna recognize me. Lock, there it is locked. Come on, you know you like me. Come on now, there you go. So it sees me and it unlocks. So we can recognize my face. All the parts and pieces of Face ID are working in this phone, which means 
that there was never anything broken. I didn't mess anything up. When I install my completely unrelated part, my rear camera, Face ID stops working. Apple has disabled a completely unrelated function, Face ID, when I replace the rear camera. And so that leaves James, James here with a choice, right? If we check on his camera, right? So this is the camera that it came with, the broken camera. Let's try to take the picture of the tweezers. This camera doesn't see the tweezers. Look, they're all, it can't focus on the tweezers because it's blind in one eye. This camera doesn't work. So I cannot give James a functional rear camera and face ID, even though I can replace the rear camera with a part that's an OEM Apple original part. And the camera works, but Apple chooses to take away the unrelated function of face ID when I do that, because I don't have the ability to tell the device to recognize the serial number of the new rear camera. And that's utterly crazy. So now let's talk about the last piece. James's only option right now is to send this phone to Apple to authorized repair. And that's a huge myth, and I want you guys to know that. He did it, he tried it. He sent this phone to Apple, and here's what happened. He sent it just like this, where the rear camera didn't work, Face ID works, everything works, and it had the screen defect and it had the little bit of melted plastic there. Apple received the phone and they opened it up. James never opened the phone, no one else ever opened the phone. It was not out of his possession until it came here and I opened the phone. When James had gotten it back from Apple, this is what he found. He found that the phone did not turn on. So it looked like this. He sent it to Apple, they received it, they looked at it and said, you have more than one thing wrong. Rear camera is wrong and the screen is bad. So with more than one thing wrong, the Apple authorized repair option is only to harvest the repairable device and sell James a refurbished iPhone 10, price tag $700. So that was his quote, $700 to get somebody else's refurbished iPhone because Apple refuses to fix rear camera and something else at the same time, as is their right. But he declined that. He declined that and asked Apple to send his phone, you know, his working phone back and what he got back was this, a phone that to him appeared to not turn on at all, but he could feel that vibration, something's going on in there. So it's a brick, completely dead. He called to complain and say, I sent you a working phone. You sent me back a broken one. They said, pound sand, pal, too bad. <laughs> it's our way or the highway. We control this thing, don't you know? And they refused to help him at all. So he sent the phone to me to check out what was going on. And it was pretty obvious. When I opened the phone, it was clear the LCD was simply disconnected. I'm gonna disconnect the battery just to be safe and we'll plug it back in. Now, I get it. Maybe this LCD just kind of flipped off by accident, but that really shouldn't happen because all these connectors are in a, every iPhone 10 ever made secured with a piece of metal. So that piece of metal, this stuff was missing from James's iPhone. Apple stole these parts from James. They had to have been there when they received the device because James never opened the phone and neither did anyone else. It had never been repaired, never been opened. He sent the phone to Apple and Apple screw, unscrewed this, took this away, threw it away, and then they disconnected his screen, quoted him $700, he declined it, and then they did not reinstall this because that's not their MO. When they do a screen replacement, they do not trust their own authorized technicians to have the skill to do this, to take the bracket and to overlay it back and to put these different size screws back in their correct positions. Instead, they instruct their technicians to take this and throw it away 
and open up a new set with a new screen. Since James declined his repair, they didn't have a new set of these. These are in the trash can. So what did they do? Eh, broken phone. It's a dead phone. They just simply snapped it back into place. Maybe they pressed it down to seal the adhesive. It seemed pretty tight. I don't know. And they sent this phone completely broken now back to James. That's his authorized repair option. Send a working phone, no rear camera, get quoted $700, receive back a phone that doesn't do anything now. That's authorized repair. And then independent repair, our hands are tied. I, Jessa, certified Apple technician, am not able to give James a phone that has both the rear camera. I can fix the rear camera. I can plug in a beautiful working, I can prove it rear camera and the camera will work. But Apple disables a completely unrelated function when I do that. And that is so incredibly unfair and I, I, I want you guys to understand this is why we need for people to, to get mad and to share videos like this and to tell people around them that Apple is pairing parts with serial numbers to the devices in ways that only they can control and yet they refuse to. So I hope that you guys uh, we'll, we'll get out there and look around in your state. How can you get involved in the right to repair? Because this is getting worse. We used to be able to change any camera in any phone, and now we can't. So we are losing the ability to repair the things that we've always repaired, screens and batteries and cameras. We've been doing that for years, years and years, and now we're losing that ability, and we need you to get out there and help us to just make it fair. Support the right to repair. Go to repair.org, look up Rossman's Repair Preservation Group and get involved. Share this video.